Good day, ladies and gents. The topic of today's discussion is the bug with Peacekeeper prices. And maybe it's not just Peacekeeper related, it could be an overall bug in the system because it also affects the Bitcoin prices. It's been happening for the past few months. It started happening last wipe. Some of you might have noticed, some of you might have not. But on some specific days, Peacekeeper prices are going up for absolutely no reason. For example, right now, if you want to buy a 308 MTR from our big boy Peacekeeper, he charges $2,800, which is an insane price. This is like 320,000 rubles. He can literally build a meta gun, any meta gun for this amount of money or even less. Meta HK is like 250k. Meta AK is 100, like it's insane. Instead of buying one MDR stock, you can build three meta AKs. It seems to be happening on weekends or maybe on some specific dates. I don't really have enough of data. Uh, but every single time you buy stuff from Peacekeeper, please do pay attention about his prices because things like this do happen. It is probably a glitch. PSG might fix it. However, I'm pretty sure that they're focusing on some other important stuff at the moment, such as fixing the memory leak issues, fixing the sound, uh, adding the new grouping system and the other bunch of hotfixes which they were planning to do this month and the next month. So while this bug keeps happening, what can we do? Exactly. We can make some money and I'll tell you how. Things are actually very simple. Whenever Peacekeeper rises his prices, he also pays more for items. So whenever you sell items to him, he actually uh, pays more than he used to. And a great example would be selling um, Intel, Intel items such as magnetic tape, Slim Diary and SSD drive. Um, so he pays 1,800, sorry, $1,087 for a magnetic tape, which is equal roughly to a 126,000 rubles. Uh, quick math is... Uh, quick math. Quick math. Quick math. Quick math is that you multiply this by 100 and you add additional 20%. So the items which he buys for $1,000 are worth 120,000 rubles. Duh. And the thing is, we can buy those magnetic tapes on the flea market. People sell them for rubles. I actually managed to buy one for 89,000. There aren't any super cheap ones, but we can buy one for 109 and still profit from this. So we pay we paid 109,000 rubles for it, and if we sell it to Peacekeeper, we're gonna get 1,087 dollars. And if you were trying to buy dollars from Peacekeeper in a usual way, 1,087. Okay, sorry, additional zero you would have to pay 128,000 rubles. So in other words, about the same amount of dollars, but 20% cheaper. So if you need some dollars and you will be buying different bullets from Peacekeeper in the future, such as M62, M60, um, M80, or something like M8501 or M8561, wherever it is, Actually, maybe it's on Skier, I'm wrong. Anyway, you get the point. You will need to use dollars in the future. Funnily enough, the same thing applies to all the items as I mentioned earlier. For example, Iridium, which sells to a therapist. Boom, 59,000. If you sell it to a therapist, she pays 51,000 typically. And if you sell it to a peacekeeper, she pays $600, which is uh, 72,000 rubles. Basically, he pays 22,000 rubles more per item than therapist does. So yeah, if you find the items in raid, meds, iridium, any items, make sure you check the price with the peacekeeper, because with this glitch, he pays more. He pays more than any trader. There is literally no reason to sell items to any other traders whatsoever if you need some dollars. I realize that those kind of uh, talking videos on YouTube are really doing well with the Tarkov community. You seem to be enjoying them a lot and I really appreciate it. Uh, so if you don't mind letting me know down in the comments below, is it just the news aspect which makes you interested in those type of videos or is it is it anything else? I don't know. Is it my personality? I know my personality is not the strongest one, but I hope I'm a nice guy. At least, at least I seem like a nice guy. Uh, so yeah, let me know down in the comments below why you keep coming back. And this is more or less it for this video. I think we are done for today. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.